Hi there, and welcome to this video that shows you how to calibrate the barometer on the Active 12 device. Now the first thing I've done uh, just to demonstrate how this works is to set up the data boxes so that show the elevation from the various sources. So we've got here from pressure, from maps, and from GPS. Now this video is going to be in a number of parts. First of all I'm going to show you how to change the source for the barometric altimeter. I'm also then going to highlight how to do that in the auto mode and the manual mode. And lastly just some general tips and advice on how to use the barometric altimeter. So first of all then I'm going to show you how to change the elevation data source. And this is done via the main menu which you can access via this uh, button at the bottom here. And then once you're in the main menu you need to press settings. You then need to scroll up or down until you get to the elevation option and press select. And the top option here, the elevation data source, gives you a number of options. And the first one is elevation from pressure, then the second elevation from GPS, and last, lastly elevation from maps. Now this changes what data source goes into the resulting trip log file. So whether it's a GPX file, a TCX file, or a .map file, this is what the setting controls. Now I'm going to show you how to calibrate the barometer using the automatic method or the auto method. The first thing you need to ensure is that this elevation data source is set to elevation from pressure, which it is now. And the next you need to scroll down to the uh, ultimate calibration method and make sure that's set to auto. You then need to press select and then the auto recalibration frequency, you can set that as appropriate and that's discussed in more detail later. But for now I'm going to set it to two hours. And then you need to hit press the calibrate now button. However, the most important thing when using the auto calibration method is to make sure you have an accurate GPS lock. And I've got that at the moment, which is shown by the four green bars here, or even better if you've got four uh, blue bars. But make sure you hit the calibrate now button. And that will mean that the pressure at the moment will be measured against the elevation as it stands using the auto method. So you can see here that the pressure from uh, the elevation from pressure matches or nearly matches the elevation from maps which is what we'd expect following that calibration. Next I'm going to show you how to use the manual calibration method. Now for this the key difference is it doesn't require a satellite lock, it requires a known fixed elevation point. So that might be a spot height on a, on a GPS map or a, a marker in the ground. So you need to go back into that settings menu which uh, again is via the main menu, via settings, via elevation. Um, until you get to this menu. Now the altimeter calibration method you now need to change to manual then press select to confirm and then you need to select known elevation. When you do that you get greeted with this data box and you just need to enter in your known height in there. So I'm going to choose 500 meters uh, by default and then press done to confirm. So now if I go back to the uh, data boxes that we looked at earlier you'll see that the elevation from pressure is now telling me 500 meters and obviously if I was at that height then that data would be then accurate. So lastly then, just some tips on how to use the barometer. First of all, in the auto mode, it, you must have a good satellite lock in order to, to get an accurate reading. As I say in the manual mode, you don't need that, but you need a known fixed uh, height point. Secondly, we'd recommend to recalibrate the barometer every single time you walk. So things like temperature and, and weather do affect the atmospheric pressure at a relative altitude. And therefore, I say, to, in order to get a, as an accurate reader as possible, we do recommend it's recalibrated every single time. And lastly, I say, in the auto option, there is the option to change the uh, change the auto recalibration frequency. Now this, I say, we recommend shorter when you have uh, constant changes in temperature and weather and recommend longer if the temperature and weather are going to be consistent throughout the duration of your walk. And that's just so that it doesn't uh, over reset too many times but it resets enough to, to accommodate for the changes in, in temperature and weather. Thank you for watching this video.